This is a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B in uh, an acrylic case. Here's the plan. I'm going to grab a USB power supply and a wired mouse and an HDMI cable and hook it all up to my big screen TV. And while it's booting up, I'll be able to tell you about my newfound interest in this thing. Okay, power on. So here's a dope on this. This Raspberry Pi 3 Model B was a Christmas present, like a couple of Christmases back. And at the time, I had no clue as to what I was going to do with it. So it ended up in the cupboard like for two years. So I think I finally came up with something. And if I can pull it off, it's going to be my most ambitious electronic project. But it hinges a lot on the ability of the Raspberry Pi 3, that Model B, to be able to run Android and to run it very, very uh, fluidly. If you've uh, played with these Raspberry Pis, you'll know that Android is not native to it and that most solutions to run Android tend to be uh, on the sluggish side. I'm looking for a performance level that can run the 8scope app, which in turn requires full Google Play services to run. So it's, that's a very demanding task. So here's Hscope running in demo mode. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if it can run one of its supported devices. I'm going to be trying out the HS102, which is also built on this channel. We'll plug that in and see if it's recognized. And yes, here it's recognized as a HS102. And it's um, also running at a frame rate that is very competitive to other Android devices. And I believe this to be a first example of 8scope running on a Raspberry Pi. It's not perfect. The Raspberry Pi is not an Android device and never will be. So you have to limit the demands you place on it. Here I've only uh, installed two apps, the 8scope and Google Drive, and it has access to the Google Play Store. All of this is predicated on Consta Kang's unofficial Lineage 16.1 fork. There's a link to his site in the description. Uh, this is Android 9 that we're talking about here. And although the Raspberry Pi 4 has been released, the Raspberry Pi 3 is still in production and is supported. There are quite a few steps to bring the Raspberry Pi to this level of Android performance. So I'm going to be releasing a full tutorial video on how to accomplish it. It's going to be essential to the final build of the project I have in mind. And it should be of interest to Raspberry Pi enthusiasts that want a fluid Android on their device. So we'll catch you guys then.